the Book of the Hunt, Pillars of Eternity. When my students ask to be taught the way of Galloway, I tell them they have already failed. Does one ask a deer to present itself as dinner? Of course not. One must outwit, outmaneuver, and overpower the deer if one dreams of venison. So it is with the seeker god. To ask a question is weakness and idle indecision. To seek answers is to understand and to become one with Galloway. Survival begins with strength from within. But I only strike my students when they ask the second stupid question, for all of us begin young and weak. It is a point of fact, and not one of shame, and a central tenet to Galloway's teachings. Perseverance and cleverness are prized by Galloway above brute force, a fact my young pups often forget. It is right and proper that the strong lead the weak, and it is equally proper that the strong be continually tested until balance changes. Galloway celebrates the strength of the victor and the prowess of the well-fed predator, but above all, the clever hound celebrates the transformative nature of strength. Galloway's greatest desire for us is that prey becomes predators, mewling babes grow into strong hunters, and the lost find their own enlightenment. This philosophy is best exemplified by the rites of the Adam Father of Ear Glenfarth. When one of the Glenfarthen spiritual leaders is old and nearing death, it is customary to enter the woods and confront Galloway's herald. If the seeker god finds that the Adamfarth's life, deeds, and soul are worthy, the reward is a quick death, and his soul joins Galloway's pack. If deemed unworthy, the Adamfarth is killed, his soul forced to find its own way to the next life, and his memory erased from the records of the tribe. Survival begins with the strength from within, and weak leaders endanger the whole pack. This is Galloway at his purest. Even at the end of life, one must struggle for worthiness, for greatness, just as one must struggle every day to feed his pack. The seeker god is easy to understand if one actively engages in the quest for knowledge, but his secrets are self-occluding to those who merely ask, desiring knowledge without the requisite hunt. My own flesh and blood once asked me, Will learning to hunt please Galloway? I told him yes, but added, Galloway would prefer that you hunt to learn.' 